Hi. Welcome to the world of Pushti wrestling. Recently, I made a friend, Jack. He is from United States of America. He is a doctor, and uh, he is also a Vichun wrestler. He loves wrestling, and he was to watch my website and channel on Pushti wrestling. He wanted to meet me and wanted to play Kushti in our Akhara. I welcomed him when he came to India and explained him about Kushti traditions. Jack played Kushti with junior boys. It was a good experience for him. The boys, however, are a regular at the Akhara. And while Jack uh, has played wrestling on mat, he has a little experience or almost no experience on the mud. So it was not easy for Jack to pin his opponents while the young wrestlers pin Jack on multiple times. In uh, traditional wrestling, uh, the emphasis is given to pin the opponent. While on the mat, uh, points are earned and the win or lose is decided on the basis of point. Here the idea is uh, to keep your opponent engaged and to use the technique in such a way that your opponent falls on his back and when his back touches on the ground, it is considered a pin and when a pin is considered, it is considered a win by pin. So this is the only way in Indian wrestling the win or lose is decided. As you see here, Jack had scored a point by controlling his opponent, but his opponent had used a technique and he toppled Jack over in such a way that Jack's back touches the ground. So here Jack's opponent won by fall. I explained Jack about our Kushti culture, our desi exercise and how we train. I explained him about the desi exercise like uh, squats, we call it dan better, sapate etc. He seemed interested and liked it. He asked me to, two older men also play Kushti and I said it is up to them however these young guys are training here because they will fight at local tournaments and will earn name fame and money for themselves i explained him about our wrestling costume langoti and jangya in fact i gave him a pair of each to wear <coughs> which he liked and uh, I told him that it's a great source to protect our weaker parts. Uh, Jangya is worn after Langoti. Langoti is worn first. Unlike, <coughs> unlike on mat, where uh, you cannot grab costume, in Indian traditional wrestling, one can hold the costume or Jangya while using a technique, but cannot hold it for longer and the referee gives warning. And I also explain Jack how we cultivate our Akhara. We always have a big spade of around 10 12 kgs. It used to dig the earth of the Akhara. We dig the Akhara in a unique way and it has to be learned gradually. Basically, the idea is to pull up the mud around 12 inches and topple it side by side at an equal level and proportion. Due care is taken to save hands and feet to avoid being hit by the spade as the sharp edges of the spade can cut the feet in two halves.
then the leveler medi is used medi is a heavy wooden clog which is tied with a rope and being pulled by wrestlers to make the surface level or even one man can also sit on the medi to put weight on it the medi also help wrestler to build more strength on thighs I showed him the other desi exercise we do in a khada like uh, beating the tires with heavy hammers pulling weights on chain pulley climbing ropes etc jack liked this experience and he thanked me he gave some gift to the wrestlers i welcomed him and asked him to come again any time and thanked him a lot to come and visit our khada Thanks for watching this video. Please, please, please subscribe my channel to watch more such videos on Kushti Rasli. Thank you.